Well, hello everybody. How is everybody doing? Well, welcome back to the garden. Did y'all sleep okay? Now, I really hope and pray that everybody is getting their proper rest because y'all know it's important to get our proper rest so that we can get up and defeat the challenges that we conquer and have every day. All right. Well, y'all, before we get into what we're getting into, let me tell you what I'm drinking. Now, tonight, y'all, I'm trying to drink that one of my faithful subscribers, she she had dropped me a little comment and told me what she drink. And I said, that sounds interesting. I want to try it. So tonight, y'all, I am trying a drink by one of my subscribers. Her name is Glenda. Hey, Glenda. Thank you, girl. I'm trying to drink, girl. I told you I was going to try it. I ain't playing. All right, y'all. And her drink is, she has tea, and this is chamomile tea. And in her tea, she puts lemon, she puts uh, cayenne pepper, and she puts cinnamon and honey. The only difference I made, I didn't use honey, I used agave syrup. And of course, y'all, I had to put a drop of my lemon essential oil, okay? So y'all, here she is. Let me stir her up because she got the cinnamon and the cayenne just floating around up in there, y'all. And I'm going to show y'all what she looked like. Here she is. What y'all think about that? Y'all, of course, I had to be fancy and put my little, little lemon slice on there, right? So let's taste it. This, this for you, Glenda. Oh my goodness, that's very refreshing. Glenda, this is good. Kudos to you. Cheers, Glenda. This is good. I, I'm going to have to add this to my menu, girl. I'm going to call this the spice of life. All right. All right, y'all. Well, y'all, I came into the, to the garden because I wanted to share some things with y'all. I have I have got some packages and stuff in, and I wanted to do a, a, a pack, open up my packages and stuff and show y'all what I've got in a little haul here. Um, but I don't know. There's so much going on in my mind. So many things, interesting things have happened. I want to share y'all what, what I got today for y'all in the garden. Okay, is that all right? And if we have time, then I'll, I'll open up the packages. If not, we'll come back and open up the packages later. Because I have to keep it under a certain time limit. Because y'all know Instagram only gives you like 15 minutes. So the video can't be too long as I can't share it over to Instagram as well. All right? And y'all come on over to Instagram. Follow me on Instagram too, okay? All right, y'all. Well, today, I, you know, I was talking to one of my faithful friends. Y'all, I have one bestie. And I have one faithful friend. And I'm telling you, these two human beings, I thank God. Because I know God put them in my life. Well, today I was talking to my faithful friend and... And we were just talking and just, just talking about the Lord and encouraging one another and, and laughing and, you know, just really just having a good time on, on the phone. And we were talking, end up talking about Moses, y'all. And in the conversation, uh, my faithful friend was like, you know, yeah, what did the Lord ask him? I was like, yeah, well, you know, what do you have in your hand? And I was like, well, Moses had a stick. And he was, you know, my faithful friend was like, yep, that's what he had in his hand. Y'all, and, and. At that moment, it was like, boom, a light came on and said, that's it, Gayla. That's what I want you to talk about in the garden. What you got in your hand. What do you have in your hand? I want to come in just to do an encouragement and let everybody know that you are enough. No matter what's going on in your life, no matter what your past look like, no matter what you've been through, you are enough. Look. Moses was up there in Pharaoh's palace, honey. He was Pharaoh's uh, uh, like adopted son because you know, remember his daughter had took Moses out of the uh, out of the out of the river because Pharaoh had all, was having all the the male children killed around his age, and his mom wrapped him up and put him in a basket and pushed him down the river. And Pharaoh's daughter went out there and and got him and took him onto the palace. So he was kind of like you know he was adopted by them. And then Pharaoh's daughter ended up calling Moses' mama to go ahead and raise him. Y'all remember the story? Girl, go read that story, man. Go read that story because that story is so interesting. Okay, so here was Moses now. He was a Jew. He was being raised as an Egyptian because he was up in Pharaoh's palace. And as time went on and uh, he realized, he found out who he was and who his roots was. And, and that was one of those Egyptians. They was beating up and, and whipping up, whipping down, beating down one of the uh, Jews, honey, the slaves. And Moses got mad and went over there with a rock and killed him and hid his body. Well, honey, Moses, 
had to run for his life. So he ran to the back part of the desert. And that's where Moses was hanging out at. He was hanging out in the desert for many years. And then, the, you remember the burning bush? Well, that's what happened. The Lord started talking to him through the morning, burning bush. He told him, God said, Moses, take your feet, take off your shoes. You're standing on holy ground. And the bush was burning, but it was not consumed. Now, how many of us would have still been standing there talking about taking off our shoes, talking about, yes, Lord, speak, or whatever? I think we would have been, we'd have been gone if we heard a voice coming and a bush burning and it's not being consumed. Uh, what's going on? Wait, what? No, Moses stood, took off his shoes. He listened to the voice of the Lord. And God told him that he had to go. He was going to be the one to go and tell Pharaoh to let his people go. Well, Moses came up with a whole bunch of ideas, a whole bunch of excuses why he wasn't the one. I stutter. I this. I killed somebody. I'm a murderer. I'm this. But honey, I want to let you know, when you repent before the Most High, He forgives you. And He throws all your sins into the sea of forgetfulness. All you have to do is repent, ask Him to forgive you, to come into your life, to be your Lord and Savior, and don't go back to the things that you have repented of. Because if you go back to the things that you repented of, then really you just apologize for doing it because you're going to do it again. But when you repent, sincere, you're sincerely sorry for what you did. You don't go back to it again. He throws it into the sea of forgetting the fitness, honey. You are more than enough. So Moses was walking around as different things was happening. And he had to go to Pharaoh and, and he didn't feel like he was adequate. But then he, the Lord asked him, he said, what in your hand. At that time, honey, Moses only had a stick, a little rod that he was walking around with back in the desert. But honey, how many, do you know how many miracles God wrought through Moses with that stick? He hit the rock. Water came out of a rock. He threw it down on the ground. The stick ate up the Pharaoh's magician's stake, snakes. He pointed towards the Red Sea. The Red Sea split. God did a lot of things through Moses just by what he had in his hand. So I want to encourage somebody in the garden today to let you know you are more than enough. What you have is enough. Stop trying to be like somebody else. Don't try to let people make you feel light, little, and low about yourself because you don't have what they have. What's in your hands? Can you sing? Sing, honey. Can you play an instrument? Play the instrument. Can you read? Read. Can you pray? Pray. What's in your hand? What do you have that you can offer unto the Lord? Offer what you have to the Lord and be happy about what God has given you to be able to give back to him. What's in your hand? It may seem like a little stick. It may seem like a whole bunch of nothing, but give it to the Lord because he'll take little and he'll make more. What you have in your hand is more than enough. Maybe you can sew. Maybe you can bake. Maybe you are, you're, you're a seamstress. Maybe you can play an instrument. What's in your hand? What can you do? Whatever you can do, you do it and you do it with all your heart because he'll take the little bit, little that you have and he will make much. He will make more. He will stretch it. But dedicate your talents. Dele dedicate your gifts. Whatever you have, give them to the Lord. Use them for the glory of the Lord and watch God bless you. Stop sitting around crying about what you don't have. Don't sit around and cry about what somebody else can do that you can't do. Oh, look how they sing. I wish I can sing that. No, be you. Because you know what? There's only one you. Be you. Be the best you that's ever possible because everybody else is taken anyway. You be the best version of you that you can ever be because he made you unique. You are unique. You are one of a kind. You are more than enough. So what's in your hand? Look around. Search within yourself. Are you a writer? Go ahead and start writing. You like to do plays? Write them plays. You never know when the Most High will open up a door for you. Whatever you like to do, whatever is in you, your passion for the Lord, use it for the betterment of the kingdom of the Most High. Use it so that people will come to the Lord. Use it to glorify God. Use it for the goodness of the Lord. Whatever's in your hand, honey, whatever talents you have, stop sitting on your talents. Moses had a stick, but look how many things that the Lord did with that stick. All those miracles that he did with a stick. What's in your hands? All right. Look, this is Lady G coming to y'all straight from Lady G's Garden Cafe. And I just wanted to come in and ask you, what's in your hand? Use what you got. Stop worrying about other people. Stop worrying about what you don't think you don't have. 
you are more than enough. All right, y'all. This is Lady G. I just want to encourage y'all today, and I want to say, if this word have encouraged you in any way, uplifted you, don't forget before you leave the garden to leave a thumbs up on the video. If you're watching by way of Facebook, leave a thumb thumbs up, and don't forget, share it to your page, share it to your friends. I don't mind you sharing, so if you're watching by Facebook, don't forget to share the video and leave a thumbs up. If you're watching by YouTube, then I want you to give it a thumbs up. If it encouraged you now, leave a thumbs up and share the video. And if you're not a subscriber, why not? What you waiting on? What, what's in your hand? Use what you got. Go on, use them fingers and go ahead and subscribe. And once you subscribe, hit that notification bell because that notification bell will notify you the next time I upload another video. And if you look watching this video by way of Instagram, don't forget to follow. Come on and follow me. Y'all go ahead and follow me and, and hit your notification bell. And it will notify you the next time I upload another video. So I just wanted to come in and encourage everybody. Use what you got. Don't let nobody make you feel like you're not enough or you're insufficient. Use what you got. Okay? So, y'all. Don't worry about what people are saying about y'all. Don't worry about what people are saying you don't have and you ain't enough. Use what you got. What's in your hands? Use it. And I want y'all to use it. You got it. On purpose. All right. Until the next upload, y'all be blessed, be safe, and most of all, be that one that's going to use what you got. Later, y'all.